Hey guys, so what are we shooting today? We've got Remington boxes of ammo right here, 45 ACP, 185 grain full metal jackets, and then also 230 grain full metal jacket. And that's what we're gonna be shooting with this wonderful Wilson Combat Exterior in 45 ACP. This pistol is absolutely loaded with features, but before we get into that, let's talk about this magazine up here. This is one of the new magazines that we're using. This is a never unarmed magazine and wanted to show you what the packaging looked like. We've been shooting them for quite a while, so you've heard us mention them several times. But let's go ahead and see what it's like right out of the packaging as we uh, go ahead and load it up. Let's go with 230 grain since that is the standard. So we've been shooting this Remington ammo for a while now with really zero issues. So that's good. I'm really happy about that. And thank you goes out to Remington for sponsoring our channel. So here is the Never Unarmed magazine. It is clearly marked two through eight here on both sides. They are welded in the back, which is pretty typical with magazines. These things seem to load very easily. So here we go. First one to the last one, guys, has been just easy and that's important to a lot of people who shoot a lot obviously we don't have a long-term um, comparison here with this magazine yet but we'll get a full year's worth of experience with them and let you know if we start having any issues but so far they've been very good yeah and the big thing about these magazines is the price right Brother Sam? uh the big thing is the price because these things have been going for at least right now $17.99? Yeah, right? $17.99. So in a world where inflation is hitting all the gun companies, it seems, and people are raising their prices all over the place, including Wilson Combat, which we're big fans of Wilson Combat, right, guys? Yep. We have a lot of their magazines. But you've noticed that their magazine prices have been going up also. Yeah, it's really bad. So to be able to get a really good quality 45 ACP 1911 magazine for $18 is outstanding. Right. So we'll continue to use these things and test them, guys, and we'll keep you up to date. Just like everything else we've ever tested, if we have any issues at all or any problems, you know, we're just going to show them to you on video. We'll talk about them. We'll try to diagnose what the issue or problem may be. But this is like video four or five uh, with using these magazines. And so far, you know, I think we've had almost zero malfunctions out of all the 1911s we've shot with them. And it's not a, the problem we did have was not really attributed to the magazine. So, so far, so good. But we will keep you posted. Yeah, and we're using those in conjunction with Wilson Combat magazines because Wilson Combat is, of course, the standby. So if we have issues out of a gun and it doesn't have any issues with the Wilson mag, then it might be attributed to the magazine. Yeah, let's talk about the exterior here real quick. Wilson Combat exterior, it's done up here on the top to prevent glare. It's got an adjustable rear sight here, a fiber optic front. And so the sight picture looks like that. And then back here, it's done in the back of the slide. And we think these are done by machine. They're very well done. The front and rear cocking serrations are, are wonderful. They're very, very, very good. This pistol has the large ambi safety bulletproof part from Wilson Combat. I ordered it that way. This is another one of those guns that I ordered and waited for it to come in, guys. The back strap and the front strap are both done in a grenade texture pattern. As well as the G10 Wilson Combat grips. Which is really wonderful. And I got to say, it is aggressive, but it does a great job in your hand. I have no plans of changing these grips out at all. And you guys know, we change a lot of grips. Yeah. So that tells you something about that. The way the trigger is, um, is done here as far as its interface with the grip safety. If you just barely touch the grip safety in, right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, it's nothing. It's amazing. Got an extended mag release here. Another bulletproof part. Everything's bulletproof on the exterior line. Actually, on all their 1911s, right? Even the ACP, which is their lowest. I think or so. Or should I say, best value 1911 they offer. And so. this pistol has the high cut behind the trigger guard, as you can see. So you can get a really super high grip on this pistol. Talking about this right here. This yeah. whole cutout right here. So... Hopefully you can see that right there. It's really high up there. So you can get your hand way up behind the pistol and right behind the trigger area. It makes for really great control. We'll try headshots from 18 yards away. We'll see how that looks. It's a little bit of a different sight in the rear. It 
It's not in battery. Yep. That's what it was. I thought it was me. Wow. One right on top of the other. At about the size of a quarter down there. Why do you think it didn't go back into battery? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. It's weird. Did you see that shot down there? Three right on top of each other. I guess the gun is capable of an inch and a half at 25 yards. Hold that one low. That's it for headshots. There's about five of them, six of them together from 18 yards away. I want to try offhand, see if I can hit anything with it. Did it again. See how much it's out of battery here? Yeah. It's out of battery again, yeah. Okay, hit it. Can you get it with the camera? Yeah, go for it. A little strange. The Wilson Combat Exterior looks terrific. It was running flawless until the end. And, and as uh, usual, we show it, you guys. We show what happens if a gun has issues. You know, we're like one of the only honest people here on YouTube. I know. About everything that happens. So I it know. is what it is, but. I don't want to start anything with other channels. But the thing about it is, guys, if we have an issue or a problem with a handgun, no matter if it costs $4,000 or $400, we're gonna show it to you guys so you can see it, what's going on with it. Yeah. We'll give you an update on it. This gun's going nowhere as far as being traded in or going away. Worst case scenario, I will send it back to Wilson Combat if I can't figure it out myself to have some help in fixing it. But this is a keeper. This is a long-term keeper for me. I've always wanted one and I will work through the small issues that it has. All right, guys, the Wilson Combat Exterior Young Beretta just talked me into taking the shock buff out of the recoil mechanism of the Wilson Combat. Let me know if any of you guys have tried that, if that's solved any issues. We're going to find out how that does with this right here. Again, we've only fired, what, 100, 150 rounds through it so far? This thing feels excellent. And now we just loaded a bunch more magazines, 45 ACP. Wilson Combat, 10 round magazine. You gotta be kidding me. I just find this hard to believe on a brand new Wilson that if you take the shock buffer out of it, that it solves the problem. Single-handed. Today's video is brought to you by Core Essentials.
Core Essentials gun belts are the best fitting, most comfortable, and concealable carry belts on the market today. It has a hidden, virtually indestructible track sewn right into the back of the belt itself. This creates 40 plus positions you can size your belt to, so you get that custom fit. I've used a core belt for over four years, both on and off duty. With these belts, you can adjust your EDC belt within quarter inch increments, so you get that exact fit. Core offers their belts in top grain leather, or tactical nylon web. Your choice, both come in one and a half inch widths with a reinforced power core. This offers superior support and flexibility. One size fits all in the waist sizes from 24 inches all the way up to 44. Tactical and XL leather belts are also available all the way up to 54 inches in waist. These belts are perfect for in the waistband carry, outside the waistband carry, or whatever your preferred EDC method is. These belts come with a one-year warranty from Core Essentials and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Use coupon code B9USA at checkout and you can save 10% on your entire order. It also has one of the best magwells in the business. So, see if you can get a look in there. Yep, super well blended, no question. And that is a one-piece magwell mainspring housing. Now this specific pistol also has the Wilson Combat Concealment Hammer and Beaver Tail. So the Beaver Tail and Hammer are overall smaller in profile if you look at the overall size of the tang back there. It's and how is that weird. hammer tension, Bredis here? It's a pretty strong hammer spring on it. So if you pull it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. So the springs in there are very strong. I'm not sure what they're rated at, but you know, everything on this pistol is done very, very well. If I could pick apart something, I would, and I have not found it yet. Every part on this is how I ordered it. So it has bulletproof parts all over it. The wide paddle safeties back here. The back of this slide has been done. You've got the top of the slide done. You've got the red side up front with the battle, Wilson Combat Battle Sight in the rear. And it's fully adjustable for both windage and elevation. Right. Yeah. The fluting of the top of the chamber area here on the barrel is done. This is countersunk here, of course. It's got fantastic grips on it, very aggressive grips. And then the front of the handgun, you can tell all this has been done. Just beautiful up here on the barrel, how it's all done together. And then the bushing marked Wilson right here, just very fit. Everything custom, everything hand fitted from a top of the line craftsman at Wilson Combat. A great sight picture here, guys. It is very accurate, which is to be expected. Wilson Combat 10 round mag. Very smooth. Safety's very positive too. It's pinpoint accurate, dude. In the Wilson mag. Trigger's fantastic though. Really feels great. Fast reset, a little bit heavier trigger than the Les Bear, but still really nice. All right, guys, that's it with the Wilson Combat. I gotta say, it's had a perfect day today. It's right on target and running 100% since we took the shock buff out. Kind of odd for us, but uh, that's the way it happens. We're just reporting it, you guys decide. Wilson Combat, perfect today. Wilson Combat at its finest. Beautiful. The trigger itself is serrated up at the front and it looks like it might be adjustable there. For over travel. 
And it is the long trigger. That's how you ordered it. Yeah, I did. And I really like it. The trigger pull itself. So you're talking about the hammer and how, how heavy the hammer is. Yeah. Sometimes with 1911s, how they get a really good crisp trigger pull is they sacrifice the reliability and how strong the hammer tension is. And that is not the case here. Guys, this pistol has an amazing trigger reset. It's dynamite. The trigger pull itself is three and a half pounds. It's outstanding. Yeah. And let me comment on that just so novices that may be tuning in. If you have a really light spring system on your hammer you could have light primer strikes yeah and that would be a bad thing especially if this is going to be your home defense or your carry gun or something like that you don't want to have light primer strikes on anything but i'll tell you i have difficulty pulling the hammer back so i know this thing is set up and ready to go and let's talk about the trigger so it's got almost a quarter of an inch right there movement to where it firms up and then as soon as it forms up it's got a tiny bit of wiggle up and down and ever so slightly side to side but when you pull this thing to that degree right there and you put a little bit more pressure on it it just snaps that's yeah yeah it's a really really nice reset. trigger so here's the reset so i'm going to let up on it slowly so you can see it it's going to happen so fast that <laughs> it's immediate it's so, it's so good <laughs> again um around a quarter of an inch um letting the pressure out and the trigger automatically resets now I'll let it go the rest of the way out so you can see. Yeah, it was about uh, a quarter of an inch. Very little trigger travel to reset. And then you're right back to about maybe a four pound, three and a half, three and three quarters pound trigger. So wonderful 1911 by Wilson Combat. And this is the quality you can expect from a Wilson Combat 1911. Brett Singer, I both have one more on order, actually two more on order, one for this year and one for next year. Yep. And Wilson Combat's current lead time is 12 to 18 months. So if you're interested in ordering Wilson Combat, I suggest you just do it now. That way you can actually get your name on a list to be able to receive one because they are very hard to come by right now. And how they're able to keep the quality to this level while they've expanded the size of their operation by like 300 percent yeah it's insane the yeah. amount that bill wilson's expanding but. you know hats off to those guys over there and the guys that are working at wilson combat to be able to keep putting out this type of product even in the middle of a huge growth spurt so congratulations to them bill wilson and company you guys are still building a terrific product and we look forward to reviewing the next two 1911s the wilson combat experience some remington ammunition and a 10 round wilson combat mag Didn't let up the trigger entirely one time. That's funny. Never an arm mag. Failure to feed. And a failure to lock back. We're gonna mark that. Look at the group there though, dude. This gun is so accurate. Wilson Combat knows how to put together a good 1911. No question. Nice shooting, dude. And this pistol, you guys, we thought was so outstanding that it needed its own dedicated review. This pistol actually was number one or number two on the top five guns for 2021 list. If you guys remember that. Another Never an Arm. Pull that shot. Headshots. Failed the feed on a 185. It's probably the ammo, to be honest. Outstanding 1911. You shot it well, man. Yeah. That's good shooting. 14 yards away, guys. 14 yards. We're not at our big range where we can back things up to 22, 23, 24 yards away. So we got three targets, and they're all 14 to 14.2 yards away. All right, I'm up next. What I can't get over, guys, is just how beautiful this handgun is. So if you like one with a lot of features on it, this is kind of a special presentation one from Wilson Combat set up with a ton of features on it. So if you want the more plain Jane, you're looking at that, what is it, 45 ACP? Yeah, the ACP. Wilson Combat ACP. All right, this is a Wilson Combat mag right here. It's awesome.
awesome. Yep. That reset is fantastic. All right, this one is a never unarmed magazine. Last I round. think it's the 185. Yeah. This Xperior has the rear battle sight, which is adjustable back here. So a little bit uh, better made adjustable rear sight. Also talking about the back of the pistol here. Look at the way the grip safety is done. Absolutely perfect. There's no way that you're going to get your hand bothered at all while you're shooting this for hundreds of rounds. It's perfectly done. Even when it's not engage some of the companies have a little bit of a hard time making it perfect both ways when it's not engaged and then when it's also engaged look at that it's like one piece of metal it doesn't get any better than that that's, that's outstanding yeah they know what they're doing as far as blending a grip safety all right, so guys, the company that just can't seem to get it right as far as blending a grip safety is honestly Cabot. Both Cabot 911s that we have, they are not as well done and they just aren't blended perfectly to where you're not going to have any irritation in your hand at all. And that really bothered me. That actually caused me to sell my National Standard Commander to you. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. they do everything really, really well. But as of right now, in the last 12 months at least, they just can't seem to get that done as well as they have in the past because my S100 Lefty doesn't have that problem. That you bought used that was like two years old. Yeah. Yeah, it was perfect. So anyway, this is kind of what you expect and this is what you're looking for. Uh, no rough edges here. Also on the safety, when the safeties are engaged, guys, look at it in the on safe position. Make sure it's not anything back here that's sharp edged or anything that's going to bother you. If you've got an ambi, make sure you check both sides. And then also... In the off position. Yeah. Again, it should be. No bother exposed at all. material. It's really nicely done. Wilson Combat knocked the ball out of the park on this pistol. Let's talk about the front of the pistol for a minute. You've got a mark here for Wilson Combat on the custom bushing that was done, and the barrel has a recessed crown on it that looks really, really nice. This one's a little bit dirty, so you might see some powder in there, but it's really, really nicely done. And then we love the end caps here from Wilson Combat, and we have actually put those on several of our Springfields and other things like that. We're actually starting to put some of the bushings from Wilson Combat and having them fit into some of our Springfield uh, 1911s, just so you guys know. Those are some things that we like to upgrade in some of the $1,000 or less 1911s and what we do, what parts we're pulling from these custom 1911 makers and putting them on those guns. Yeah, the thick flange stainless steel Wilson Combat bushing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video on the Wilson Combat Xperior 45 ACP. We appreciate you guys watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And hit that like button for us. Everyone's looking for that, and YouTube is watching it too. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.